Okay, well, in this first part, we're given these two functions, f and g. f is a function such that x maps onto 2x plus natural log of 2, and x is any real number. And similarly, g is a function such that x maps onto e to the power 2x, where x is any real number. And we've got to show that this composite function, gf of x, is equal to 4 multiplied by e to the power 4x. So how am I going to do something like this? Well, first of all then, I'd write down what we're given, that is g f of x, or what we've got to find anyway. And that's going to be g of, okay, so we'll put a bracket there, g of whatever f of x is. And f of x is 2x plus the natural log of 2. So just write that in. Now, what does this mean? Well, wherever we see an x in the function g, we've got to replace it with 2x plus the natural log of 2. So, here we are. We're going to replace this x with 2x plus natural log of 2. So, this would equal e to the power of 2 multiplied by our 2x plus natural log of 2. All right? Now... I'd want to expand the bracket, okay? So we have got e to the 4x plus 2 times natural log of 2. 2 natural log of 2. Now, this 2 here, okay, we could push this up as a power. Remember your power rule for logs? If you have a number at the front here, you can take it up as a power. So this becomes e to the 4x plus natural log of 2 squared, or 4. Now, in fact, we'll just write that down. But also, when you're adding powers, it's the same as multiplying your values. In this case, e to the 4x multiplied by e to the power natural log of 2 squared, 4 in other words. Remember, if you got them to the same base, which we have here, e, okay, you would normally add your powers. So that takes you back to that stage there. Now this is a very important idea, e to the natural log of a number. It's a rule that you should learn, okay, if, you, if you're not aware of it. If you have e to the natural log of a constant value, say a, then this is exactly the same as a. And that's why I had to get rid of this 2 here. Okay, I needed to create this kind of situation. So what I'm saying is that e to the natural log of 4 is just simply 4. You can try it out on your calculator if you like, but uh, it's something that we should recognize. So we've got e to the 4x then multiplied by 4, which is exactly what we wanted only I'm just going to write it in the right order. 4e to the power 4x then. Okay?